water's coming out of it. So I suspect that the water pump stopped working and it overheated. Bottom cylinder is still cold, top cylinder is warm. Let's take a peek at the plugs. But I think, I think our problem is it overheated. Right, let's get our compression test. Here we go, we want over 100. Alright, so this bottom one is at, ooh, just under 140. Definitely lower, so 115. It's not within 10%. Or like out 18%. But you really don't want to be, you know, much more than 10. So we're taking apart the bottom end right now. All different sizes. Half inch, 9 sixteenths, 5 eighths. There we go. Turn these nuts the rest of the way off. So we took the bolts off. I don't think this whole thing needs to come out. I'm thinking that, there we go. Okay, I think we found our problem, James. What's the problem with it? Right here, here's our little impeller and it's not doing nothing. As you can see, it's on there, <coughs> but it has no fins left. So where do you find those? Where do we find those? Well, we're going to have to order a new one. Does it just sit on here? I've never done this before. Oh, there we go. Something popped up. Oh, there's a little keyway. Don't want to lose that. Let me see. A little keyway, and then this just pops up. So let's order a new part, and then hopefully we can get this thing running again. Okay, the new impeller came in. That looks a little better, eh? Compared to that. Impeller and keyway. And the keyway has to go in here. See the shaft right there? It's a little notch for the keyway. So let's do that carefully. So you get that on there. We're going to slide this puppy down. And then we're going to line that up. This will be fun. I'm going to hold that with my finger. There we go. You got to get into here, but it's too tight because it seals really, really tight to, to in here. Basically, these fins, these rubber fins are going to bend like this when they're in there. But here's the easiest way to do that. I'm just going to put on a little bit of grease. Probably putting on too much, but it'll let come out after. And now we're just going to drop this on here. I think I'm just going to grease up these impeller tips a little bit. Hey, Dad. Hey. So, did you, is it fixed? I'm working on it right now. So now we turn this in. Look at that. So we're just greasing the splines. And what you want to do is grease the splines, but don't grease the top. So while I'm here, you might as well, you should grease up the shifter spline. This just shifts between forward and reverse. And again, don't put grease on the end. Okay, forgive the noise. That's just a train going by, but I'm just going to work on getting this bottom end back put on. The tricky part is this pipe. You can't really see in there. Maybe you can now, but it has to go in a little hole up there and and then it has to go in. See, so it just fell out again. There we go. This is going to be nearly impossible. Matt. I think we got her. Yeah, the bolts are in. I know. The pipe might not be on right. That's the problem. So we're having a bit of a bugger of a time getting this to stay in here. So I'm just going to put a bit of silicone caulking on the end. Tape it up. Because every time it just falls down. And then when I push it back up, I don't know if I'm back in or not. So we're just putting a bit of silicone on here. On the outside. Push it in there. Tape it up, let it dry for 10 minutes, and hopefully that'll hold it. So there we go. Let's 
going at an angle towards the back. Pull it tight. Yeah. Perfect. So now, we'll just see how long it takes this silicone to get hard right here. So not to be sticky. And then we know it should kind of be holding it in there. What a hackery. Here. All right, so that worked. We'll finish this up tomorrow. Beauty. Okay, so I think we're back in action. I just got to attach the hose here. Where's the hose? Here's the hose. Okay, water's going. Let's fire it up. Well, this ends the episode of this boat for now because this engine definitely has a lot bigger issues than just an impeller. All right, so after doing a little bit of research, I'm going to just check, take the plug out and just see. Ow. I'm just gonna take the plug out and see if there's any cracks around by the spark plug, which I doubt there'll be. If we look very closely, I see zero cracks around there. So here's what's probably happening. It's a gasket. So basically it's gonna need a, uh, it's called a water cover gasket. So you got this whole cover here that holds the spark plugs and various and sundry things, but we need to replace that gasket. This is gonna be interesting to do because it's way down in there, but we'll see what we can do and see if we can fix that. You can see it kind of burned almost right through and that's where it was leaking. This side seems a little, a little better. But anyways, let's uh, switch out the gasket and. I'm gonna make sure I was documenting what valuable for the trial. I'm pretty sure this is some sort of temperature. It says V6 on their sensor. So I'll have to solder that back on. Issues. Call your family doctor. Never been injected into any children before. Ne outlet is coming out of the motor here there it's leaking a little bit so I'm gonna see if we can't get that sorted out so let's just take the coil off so it's leaking right where this goes in the blocks if I take this off looks like it just screws in all right just a little bit of gasket sealers stuff on there oh no that's fine all right back on Okay, so this is the initial, well, not quite the initial run, but almost the initial run after the repairs. Go a little quicker, we're good. 